Shabbat Shalom. After lots and lots of wandering, the Israelites are almost within sight of the Promised Land. They have waged a victorious campaign against the Midianites. No longer are the Israelites in the desert. They're fast approaching the Jordan, their final destination, the land flowing with milk and honey. This double portion, Matot Maaseh, reminds us that they have made 42 stops along the way. Elam Maaseh Bnei Yisrael, these are the journeys of the children of Israel. 42 holiness raising journeys from the narrow spaces of Egypt to the Holy Land. The number 42 is so significant. God created the universe using the number 42. There are 42 gods and goddesses in the underworld in ancient Egyptian culture. The Gutenberg Bible, the first book printed on the printing press, had 42 lines per page. And as we all know, 42 is the number now retired by all major leagues in honor of Jackie Robinson. And in this Torah portion, the members of the tribes of Reuben and Gad have begun to have different thoughts. They see that even though the land is within reach, that they would stay on the east bank of the Jordan. Moses gets angry with their decision. Shall your countrymen go to war while you sit here? We would like to build pens for our livestock and cities for our women, they said. We are ready to arm ourselves and go ahead until we have brought the Israelites safely to their place. The men of Reuben and Gad put property before people. They speak of their flocks first and their women second. Moses reverses the order, putting special emphasis on the children. One could only imagine the personal pain that Moses felt, having been denied the opportunity to enter the Promised Land, and now these tribes are choosing not to go. They paid more regard to their property than their sons and daughters, because they mentioned cattle before children. Judaism impels all of us to look at the world with a critical eye and asks us to focus on what is eternally true, not ephemeral. It teaches us that possessions and popularity are fleeting. The true purpose of life is people and relationships. These are the journeys that we all continue to go on. 42 stops along the way. Enjoy the journey. Shabbat Shalom.